So we'd like to welcome you all. We'd like to welcome you all to the last uh, non commutative geometry and topology seminar for this year, for this calendar year. Um, speaking will be our own Arnab Bhattacharji from Charles University, uh, and he will speak about weak expectations of discrete quantum group algebras and cross products. Thank you, Ray. Yeah, so the title, as Ray already mentioned, the weak. So this is a joint work with my last supervisor uh, in master. So uh, I'm sure. Fortunately, he also has the same surname as I have. <laughs> yeah, so let's start with weak expectation. So let A be a Middle uh, is the suburb, is the suburb of PH. Then my weak expectation P is a uh, unital completely positive map from. E page to a double commuter. So this is And also by using bicommutant, uh, von Neumann bicommutant theorem, we can also see this both in the weak operator topology and also the strong operator. Such that when I restrict me on three, it is basically my identity. So P is weak expectation and A is said to have so this is a UCP map. P is numerical. And if uh, A is then to have 
with location with if for every uh, faithful representation of a presentation by by a as with expectation and uh, by this weak expectation map i mean if a is represented in, inside bh some representation by to say that in this way And uh, it is also a bi module map. By uh, by module or or it is sufficient to check that if by is sitting inside the multiplier, uh, multiplicative, uh, multiplicative domain of this Y. So M of Y is basically multiplicative. Given by from the orange. So this is basically uh, the, the definition for weak expectation for general C star algebra context. But in this talk, we are interested in how this uh, weak expectation property is connected with uh, uh, quantum groups. But uh, classically, we have these results. I mean, quantum group for uh, here, it is a discrete quantum group. But classically, we have this uh, equivalent condition, like if we have a discrete group gamma, then following our uh, so we have gamma is amenable to reduce the existence algebra of gamma is nuclear. So it is amenable means there is a uh, invariant mean all its uh, 
on Sun Infinity Gamma. So invariant mean. Meaning is uh, and also, this reduced group system algebra has been expected in the moment. This is, uh, this is true for the classical cases, for the uh, discrete group, but uh, the equivalent conditions is not uh, true for general uh, locally compact groups, locally compact groups, because uh, Kohn's has already proved that, so there are uh, connected locally compact groups, which has, uh, which has their Reduce group sister algebra. It is nuclear, but it is not necessary to be amenable. So now the point is uh, how to use this uh, weak expectation property of this guy and uh, property of amenability of this gamma in the quantum settings. I mean, how we can use this uh, in the discrete quantum group. Okay. So I don't know if I have a stupid question. I guess in the here when you're defining the multiplicative domain, I mean, why if A is yeah, a B of H? It's a, I mean, it's a not obvious. I mean, there is something. Well, no, it just does mean in the definition. So if A is in B of H and B is in B of H, wh why do you need to have the condition twice? I'm missing something subtle. Because... So this is a right multiplicative and this left multiplicative. I mean, so A is here uh, uh, in the left side and and A is again here in the right side, so it's right and left. And if you, so we have right multiplicative domain, we have left multiplicative, and it is the intersection of them. Okay, so to talk about this uh, thing in the analogous version in the quantum, discrete quantum group settings. Okay, let's uh, start with this uh, introduction on this uh, this compact quantum and discrete quantum groups. So, some brief discussion. So, start with them. We have compact quantum group G, which is a immutable sister, sister algebra by co multiplication. And we denote A by P of G. And then there is a co multiplication from C of G to. <laughs> satisfy basically co-associativity This is basically close when you expand. The tensor product I'm using here, I should mention is the minimum tensor product.
and uh, if we talk about the representation, if pi is a is an irreducible representation. then it's if u pi is the representative u pi belongs to Each pi are finite dimensional because every irreducible representation in the compact quantum groups are finite dimensional. And uh, so satisfies Or if we want to break into the basis elements, then we also write it like this or something. So these are the basis, uh, the mat, uh, mat, I mean the matrix coefficient of this uh, this guy and uh, the basis element of this C of G. I mean, if I write properly here, so this U pi i j forms the uh, underlying Hoff algebra structure of this C of G. Which runs And uh, all G is the uh, of star of a background. Which is also dense, uh, all you also dense. Which is because of the uh, Peter Weil theory for the compact quantum groups. Moreover, we can find this also. It's basically each of this
So these are basically the Peter wells. Okay. So we have represent we have contact water group, we have representations. So now we can formally uh, get the definition or construction for this discrete quantum groups. So we denote it like G hat, which is basically A hat uh, with, okay, so. Consider A hat this way that direct sum of B of H pi, where pi is and from the irreducible representation at G. So we consider the uh, irreducible representation of G and we consider the matrix algebras because these are the finite dimensional one. So this will give you the uh, matrix algebras. And uh, Correspondingly, we can take the uh, corresponding the algebraic direction where uh, the difference basically, so this is basically the algebraic direction. So in each of these blocks, we have a, a finite number of uh, uh, nonzero. So here we have the blocks, but here we have finite number of uh, blocks which are non uh, non-zero or something. I mean, if I take an example, so let's consider. Uh, G to be. They start to be common. Yeah. Can, can you say again what's the difference between these two sets? You've just written? So here we are taking the uh, the difference mainly. Uh, so we we have the blocks here, right? So ah, sorry, I just couldn't see. So the second the, is algebraic direct sum. And so we are taking is... the only finitely many blocks. Which okay. Are is okay. that the same thing that's happening on the top board? No, no, no. It's, I'm taking the whole. No, no, no. On the top board, you have Paul G and L2G. It looks like the same set to me. But this direct sum is not an algebraic direct sum. Is that what you're saying? Uh, no, 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 no. That's so the what's the difference so between Paul G and L2G? So they are dual to each other. So basically, these are the underlying Hopf algebra, which gives you the C of G. And uh, I mean, if I consider this example, maybe you could see. I, mean, I, I just don't see the difference between the two sets you have on the top board, Paul G and L2G. Uh -huh, so first one is the union, and second one is the direction. With the completion, yes. so the completion. Like, this is the yeah, key completion. word I'm looking for. Completion. I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. I mean, this is like the measurable functions classically. Gotcha. Right. Thanks. Yes. Oh, okay. So. The 
So here you could uh, see the, I mean, here the compact quantum graph, taken the example here. The uh, reduced group sister algebra of uh, uh, discrete group gamma and uh, the coproduct is given in this way and a hat is basically the dual of uh, du dual of this uh, group algebra so this is basically c0 of gamma so here this will uh, so here it is a function space where uh, if you compare with this with this construction uh, construction of a hat is basically tells you that the blocks are basically uh, just, uh, it's a number, I mean, the one, one by one matrices. And here, the A, he, we have, con we are considering the algebraic direction, so we are considering the only finitely many blocks. So here from the example, you could also check, uh, this, is the, this is the uh, example which satisfy this condition. And uh, so the, Irreducible representation class of this. Uh, so I should uh, denote my quantum group this way and E hat. Delta hat. So I will tell you the delta hat later. So here, the discrete so the presentation of G hat is basically given by this comma. Now consider the new uh, surprise of this new phi. Irreducible representation of G. So basically, it will give you the uh, unitary element because these are the unitary elements. So that will give you uh, element of C0. which is basically the 
fundamental representation. which is here you can see the it, it is the infinite dimensional and uh, okay so Voronovich and Podlesh show that there is a uh, so uh, there is a unique Star form delta hat in this uh, so <coughs> we have defined here a of g and sometimes people also write it like zero g so there is a unique Unique in the sense that of identity. Also, here I should mention one thing. Since EU alpha buyer satisfying the representation condition, so it So this is due to Podlesh and Monovich. Also, this if we define it like delta hat explicitly in this way. Also uh, satisfy the above equation. Okay, and we will use this uh, uh, particular delta hat for our uh, for the calculations. Let's go product. Should also mention uh, this uh, Fourier transformation because classically we have been Fourier transformation between L2 of into into 
we send a probe to a part and if that and we do not like we define this way. So the transformation between D and set. Integrating with respect to R of T, R measure of T. So here, uh, modulation of autonomy is also define a uh, explicit map between pole G and uh, B A at. So here, for example, if you consider G to be your C of G, for example, here, and uh, G had to be your sister, your drama. So here we basically have the C of P of They define the map, explicit map for this. One then uh, e of W star. So phi of G is the R measure on each. Right. Now we define the uh, regular representation. Uh, the, the, and the same uh, analogous way for we have for the classical discrete groups or group, I mean, locally compact groups. So here we consider omega from the Okay, so we have G hat, uh, like A hat and delta hat, which we have defined, denoted is like C zero of G hat. In the uh, von Neumann algebra settings also people uh, defined in this way in infinity g hat which is defined the products g of h finds by And uh, in the von Neumann algebra language, also this is written in this way also.
now we consider i mean if we consider the example then your your l infinity g hat will be the the so we had uh yeah so we have the function algebra here so we will have the function algebra in infinity comma as an example if we consider that example and we will get the underlying this one domain algebra will be l infinity of comma as an example so okay now come to the uh, point of regular representation So for that, we consider Omega hat to be the element from the free dual So basically the collection, uh, the space of all uh, uh, linear functional which are uh, closed under the weak operator topology. And uh, we denote it with L1 of G hat. Now we define the representation the following way. L1 G hat and here I'm using the same Hilbert space because we have the Fourier transformation from here. So we can say basically the there is a trans uh, isomorphism between so this is basically the isomorphism uh, they have already shown this tau, this Fourier transformation. So we can uh say that this is also isomorphic to L2 of this mean hat the underlying Hilbert space. And so we are considering only that Hilbert space we are, uh, we are getting from the uh, uh from the compact quantum group. So the hat so in the classically we uh, we have seen that this uh, regular representation of this uh, this guy uh, this uh, i mean if you consider the reduced group system algebra is basically comes from the left regular representation of the group here this uh, uh, this W is playing the role of this unitary representation, and you're getting uh, you can define the uh, for this discrete quantum group. And similarly, you can also define as we have in the uh, classical case the reduced discrete quantum group algebra. Is denoted the same way we denote in the classical case. And this basically lambda hat of this L1 G hat, which is closed with respect to the norm of this V of L and G. Now we will try to show that uh, we have the, classically we have the results for uh, gamma is amenable, then we have the characterization of amenability of gamma with respect to this weak expectation property of reduced group system algebra. Now that uh, we would like to see 
how the weak expectation property of this uh, uh, this reduced uh, discrete quantum group algebra is capturing the amenability of this g hat uh, yeah so so before going to that i mean i should may also mention what we what do i mean by amenability of here because people have uh, many characterization for this uh, amenability uh, but we can use one of them uh, so G hat. We are using here basically the, the same idea. We have to have a invariant mean on this L infinity G hat. So we in the classical we have invariant mean uh, on L infinity gamma. We will like to have this. So the meaning is there exists an invariant mean and from L infinity G hat C such that the condition M Omega hat times uh, uh, entity delta hat x is basically omega hat in from the free dual. Now, what we have the classically, let's go to some classical picture. So if I say that we have a weak expectation, so we consider our, this guy classically, this guy has weak expectation. With expectation property. So since this is sitting inside the L2 gamma, so we can have this map from L2 gamma to to reduce gamma double commutant, which is basically your the group fundamental algebra and we can have a so let's call it by c and we have that can compress here let's call it by tau to see this composition let's call it by eta so Tau composed by eta. What we do is so if we restrict eta on L infinity gamma because L infinity gamma is contained in B of L to G gamma. So L infinity gamma to C and we check that whether this condition lambda s t so t is coming from this here eta of t okay so while uh, So in this calculation, when we do a calculation for eta lambda s t lambda s, 
Uh, so it's basically tau compose C lambda is T lambda is uh, T of lambda s T lambda s star and since uh, my reduced group sister algebra is sits inside a weak expectation property, it has weak expectation property. So it sits inside the multiplicative domain of this file. So we can take it out. I mean, we can use the definition of multiplicative domain here. And finally, using the property of Chris, we can we can get this because phi of lambda s and lambda s star is basically by definition lambda s star and lambda s. Now the point is why I'm doing this calculation in the classical case because we have this. This is our canonical case. Now, if you look the same kind of construction in the quantum settings, we have a notion of cat type uh, discrete quantum and non cat type. So here the basic difference is basically your hard state is tracial and hard state is non tracial. So So we do nothing we do some trick to get over this because if we uh, if we are working with cat type then uh, usual weak expectation property you are is uh, this uh, construction is sufficient but what we will do we, when we our hard state so if i write it properly so, so my reduce this guy is sitting inside the uh, uh, into G. So, which we could say that if we, uh, so this is the uh, group algebra if we go to the function algebra so it's uh, l infinity of g hat yeah okay so here we have phi of g or this is r and if it is uh, non, um, if my uh, discrete group is discrete quantum group is uh, non cat type, meaning my hard state is not uh, tracial, then we cannot flip that kind of uh, thing. So we cannot use the traciality condition. So why, uh, if I, uh, if we, uh, use this trick like my if we consider p of l infinity g hat or is contained in the center of this this guy So basically here you can see that from here I can directly flip and it will uh, automatically have the, uh, I mean, give you the tau of t. So we don't have to worry about whether it is, uh, it is I mean, your phi of g is, uh, is tracial or not. So in this way, we can define like 
quantum weak expectation just using this So my quantum weak expectation is basically a UCP map, unital completely positive map from B of N to B to sister reduce B hat double commutant, such that same thing as we have for the weak expectation. If I restrict it to the sister reduce G hat. It will be the identity of sister reduced G hat with this pi of L infinity G hat contained in state of L infinity. So here, using uh, this argument, we can we can say that secure and. G hat is a discrete quantum group. Then sister reduced G hat as as quantum. Weak expectation if and only if G hat is amenable. I mean, we have to uh, write everything. Uh, so, I mean, this is kind of idea we can say, but to prove this, we have to write everything in terms of this quantum language. And we, uh, for this, we will uh, use uh, tremendously the fact that we, I mean, the construction of this discrete quantum group. A hat, as you already have seen the direction of this P of H alpha. So, from here, we have lots of projections. I mean, here we have this matrix algebra, so we automatically have this lots of projections. So we will use that uh, this, this idea. I mean, ultimately, we have to show this uh, amenability condition where I have it written. Yes, here. I mean, we cannot directly use this because there is some uh, problem uh, if uh, because we are using here the infinite direction so so here we will uh, need to approximate with respect to some uh, uh, omegas and, uh, and that approximation will come with the help of this projection we will we have here so uh, so it's kind of calculation it has some calculations to do so it's better to avoid now. But uh, for the other direction, uh, I mean, uh, uh, if G hat is amenable, then we have to use the criteria of quantum injectivity, which comes from the ideas of Piotr Soltan and Amy Weiselter has defined. But they have defined, uh, I mean, they have the same kind of definition as we have. They have the, so they just, Consider here the uh, von Neumann algebra and uh, define use the same kind of 
maybe uh, I could. So basically, I would end this. Uh, I guess I'm running out of time. So uh, in terms of objectivity, using this, we can prove this amenability to uh, reduce group sister algebra this weak expectation. So this is due to uh, uh, salt and and any advice of that. So I he is. Uh, Quantum injective, injective. If there is a conditional expectation, of course, we are talking about the injectivity, so we need conditional expectation. B. From but they have defined in the locally compact quantum group settings. Uh, L infinity G such that uh, Contain in the center of this. And they also prove that G hat is amenable if and only if he has quantum energy. Okay, I sh think I should stop because I'm already running out of time. But yeah. So there are any questions from the audience or online? Um, <clears throat> so maybe I missed it but the definition of a discrete quantum group is you start with a compact quantum group and you do this dual kind of construction but can you define it without reference uh, to a i mean vandale has something to uh, define it in a different way but what i have studied i mean read all those things it i have seen this natural Naturality, basically, from if you go from compact quantum groups to, but Vandale, I guess he has really constructed in this, uh, but I'm not so sure. I mean, I just want it's like this delta hat. It went from g hat to the multiplier algebra of g hat times g hat. So I'm just wondering if that's sort of how you you, you did, yeah, define exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I guess it's an example of a locally compact quantum group. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh, okay. Right. Yeah, I mean, it was like a special type of locally compact quantum. Yeah, group. exactly, exactly. Gotcha. Exactly, Which exactly. I, again, don't really know how that's defined, but I guess just not many the, people do with the co <laughs> with the the co product. Yeah, I mean, if you define but, properly in yeah. the locally compact quantum group settings, and then you can say that okay, this uh, we can define in this way. So. I mean, I, I also find this notation a bit confusing. So you're saying g hat is also denoted as c zero g hat? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean the. Uh, Compact quantum group case, we define it like uh, denoted like C of G. G is uh, we so we denote like this way. And some people also denote like C of G. This way. So I thought in maybe in this way also we can define. I mean, G hat. I mean, this is okay. Hat, but hat, this is slightly hat. outrageous. No, I mean, it's, okay. So thanks. Yeah.
Yeah, I just missed this. So the, the definition of amenability for, for the discrete guy, that's what's at the board straight in front of me. Yeah. Can you? Yeah, I mean, uh, so we need to break all those things. Then, I mean, uh, it's. So it, what exactly is the? L infinity of G hat. So basically, uh, I mean, in the classical case, what we have is basically we uh, look at the, the action of this. So when we define this uh, lambda is T lambda, it's the. So we basically uh, use the action of this uh, gamma of this L infinity. So here we are using the action of uh, this uh, uh, this discrete quantum group G hat, which is uh, I mean the action of this uh, omega hat on this. So omega hat is coming from the pre-dual space of this. So. So here is the capturing the action. Maybe I couldn't properly uh, uh, give you the answer. So here, basically, the same thing is happening. The here you have the action of gamma on L infinity gamma. So and you are also having the action of this uh, G hat on this uh, this space with with the I mean your Omega hat is the element of the spread world space. So this way. I mean, there are many uh, characterization amenability. So um, people take the, I mean, I mean your take, take the co amenability of G, then say that uh, the underlying group uh, function algebra, I mean, the unit. Sorry, co-unit of this uh, C of C or G has the bounded property and use certain things uh, from that. So there are many uh, criteria of this amenability, and people use their how to. I mean, what is the need of this group? I mean, so I mean, we have checked that this kind of uh, condition we can calculate from this maps. Perhaps like this or this. So we use that criteria. Yeah. So are there any other questions from the audience or online? Maybe you already mentioned, but in general, uh, the not necessarily equal. For discrete, is everything is equivalent, but for locally compact case, it's also true that uh, okay, your theorem says uh, then it has the quantum weak expectation pro property if and only if it's amenable, and this is also if and only if the reduced group Sister algebra is nuclear. Ah, okay. 
Facebook. There are no more questions. And um, we'll thank Karen again for a nice talk. <laughs> So this is yet yeah, the last uh, seminar of the year, um, and I guess we'll see you all in January. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Do we have the first speaker of next year? Is Mike Whitaker? Yeah. Well, anyway, it's 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 on the website, so uh, we'll let you check it out, and hopefully, we'll see you all again next year. <laughs>